a hotly contested race for the person who will replace Charleston Mayor Joe Riley. Joining me in the studio is former Charleston City Councilman and businessman Maurice Washington. Maurice, thank you very much for sitting here and Absolutely. speaking with us and answering questions about how yes. you hope to lead the city of Charleston. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, people in Charleston have been made to wait very patiently and wade, in fact, through floodwaters recently. What is your plan to relieve the flooding in the city of Charleston? Well, I'm glad you said, you asked, what is my plan to relieve? Because I don't think we could solve the problem uh, completely. We are the low country. Uh, but some of the things that we can do and do immediately is provide the proper maintenance to existing drainage systems. Uh, we, we have to do a better job. Before we start to invest in, in new infrastructure, Let's take care of what we have currently. And uh, my goal, my objective is to ensure that we hire great uh, engineers, great planners, uh, uh, great uh, construction minds to deal with this drainage problem. We also have to uh, uh, put the brake on overdevelopment, particularly in low lining uh, areas, uh, prevent further capping of wetlands. Uh, wetlands in my judgment, is the first line of defense against flood water, storm water, uh, and then prioritize uh, where the investments, future investments should be made. Drivers can often spend hours trying to get mm -hmm. into the city of Charleston, trying to get on the peninsula. How do you plan to ease traffic congestion without eliminating the character of Charleston streets? Well, you know, traffic congestion is a uh, region-wide problem and it's going to require a regional approach, working across governmental sectors to get this uh, situation under control. Uh, I don't believe, uh, Carolyn, that we can construct or build our way out of these congestions. I think we have to manage growth and development. I think uh, land use planning should drive development as opposed to development driving land use planning. And that seems to be the, uh, the biggest problem right now. Once policy decisions are focused on where the growth will go, roads and transit can then follow, of course, in the right places. We have seen disturbing video of police officers and their interaction with mm -hmm. citizens recently. Okay. What is your plan to improve relations between cops and the community? Uh, you know, in the city of Charleston, we're fortunate to have a number of programs that we currently operate. The DARE programs in schools, we have uh, neighborhood outreach effort, lots of social interaction between uh, police and neighborhood residents. Uh, and um, I think in addition to uh, what we're already doing, uh, and as opposed to demonizing all police officers, I mean, it's stressful. I think it's important that we also uh, teach our citizens to obey the law as well. Hands down, hands up, on your knees, hands behind your back. Let's, let's obey the orders of, of law enforcement orders, uh, officers. Let's not escalate uh, uh, the situation. And, um, and let's try to basically understand uh, one another a lot better than we are right now. For nearly 40 years, Mayor Riley has led the city of Charleston and had he decided not to step down right now, probably would have been reelected. What part of Mayor Riley's legacy will you continue? Well, I think um, quality of life, livability of neighborhoods, uh, I think represents the, uh, the cornerstone of his contribution to the city. He came along at the time when the management style demanded a bottom, a top down management style. Uh, uh, today, I think we're looking more at a bottom up, which is my style, but um, uh, he has done across the board so many wonderful things. It's, it's hard to cherry pick. Uh, I just hope to improve upon his good work. Maurice, if you were not in this race, mm -hmm. who among the five candidates would you vote for and why? <laughs> oh, you know, we've had over 30 or so candidates for him. Uh, I, I tease uh, uh, all the time that uh, we've had so many of them, we no longer take each other seriously. Uh, it's, it's a tough uh, call. All are wonderful candidates. I'm enjoying the, uh, the experience with each of them. Uh, Would my, you my vote mom, for one of the candidates? You know, my mom served, uh, was the Stabenakis' nanny. 
Uh, and uh, sometimes I tease Leon about if mom were alive today, she would probably try to vote for both of us. Um, it's, it's a tough choice. I, I'm not there yet. Okay. All right. Well, Maurice Washington, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> thank and you. And best of luck to you. You bet. I appreciate it.